so it's me Carol welcome back to my youtube channel or welcome if you're new here today I'm doing part two of my caroling vlogs if you don't know caroline is a halloween themed readathon that I'm going to be hosting I'll link my announcement video in the cards and in the description box down below so you guys can have a little bit more information on this readathon it's 10 days of caroline and you have five reading prompts so for this reading vlog, I have three books left on my TBR. Losing Brave by Bailey Madison and Stephanie Miller. Daisy in Chains by Sharon Bolton. And The Maze Runner by James Dashner. And I'm going with this one for today because I think this will be the quickest and easiest to get through. This is a thriller book and it covers a prompt. Read a book you think will be absolutely fantastic. This book follows this girl who lost her sister, she just disappeared and the anniversary of the disappearance is coming up and something really weird is happening and I think someone else gets kidnapped or something like that and so the girl decides to investigate to get some closure and find out what actually happened and I'm really excited. But yeah, let's do this, let's read, yay! <laughs> day and I didn't get any more reading then oops so I want to read a little bit more of losing brave before I go to sleep so that I'll be on track for the rest of the week hey who's Dylan confused what Seven? Am I right? Seven? Yeah, I think seven. Of Caroline. And yesterday I got a little bit more reading done of Losing Brave and like I have to finish it today or else I'll be like really behind on my schedule. But I'm really confused with this book. I just now I think I finally understand the dynamics of it so I'll be able to read a little quicker. It took me a long time to get to page 70 because I was like wait who's who? What's happening? And then I realized there are two timelines and I was like oh that makes sense. But wait, what? I think I finally understand now and hopefully I'll be able to read this pretty quickly. The only thing that bothers me is I train my books very well. Uh, most of my books. But I I don't know what happened with this one. Like the cover just went like this. I don't know if you can like... What? <laughs> Why does it look so funny? Like... What? Well, anyway. Let's read. <laughs> sisters right one is an older sister one is a younger and I'm a twin and it's so funny that she's like oh my god he went out on a date with my sister and she disappeared and now I'm on a date with him too like is that weird girl that's weird <laughs> I'm sorry that's weird am I the only one that thinks that that's weird like you I don't know maybe that's just me sorry if I offended anyone that's just my opinion it's just like I, th I think it's kind of weird like actually being a sister and reading that I, I don't judge I just wouldn't do it myself. We are twins. Oh my god, they're twins too. <gasps> okay, so I can definitely say you. <laughs> who's Misty? Who's Misty? nine o'clock and I'll have a ton of time to read I usually go to sleep at like 11 10 30 so I'm good and we got to page 126 the last time I saw you guys and we have a chunk left but the story was getting really interesting and I feel like if I pick this up I won't be able to put it down unless I finish it so that's a good sign and yeah so let's read this No, I don't like this. No, no. Please, no. I'm 
gonna hate this if that happens. Reading this book as a twin myself is a very different experience that I think most people will have. I got very emotionally connected to this story, like I actually want to cry. Um, I can never imagine not knowing what happened to my twin. Like that's just so... That's like the worst thing that could happen. About the mystery, I was very surprised. I guessed who it was, but I didn't guess the reason or the biggest plot twist in the end. So that was really good. I just, I think they missed one thing that's kind of bothering me. Like, who did that little thing? I think I missed it, but that's okay. I'm gonna give this four stars. It's not a five stars because I felt like some things were a little rushed and it scared me for reasons I don't think most people got scared. I think most people got scared because of the mystery. I got scared of the idea of maybe one day losing my sister but I just the way it was described felt so real and it felt so emotional I I got a little scared by that but overall I really enjoyed this tomorrow I'll talk a little bit more about it but I loved it I think it was a great read Sarah thank you for recommending this to me I loved it and it's a lighter thriller, but it has a very good plot line, which is something that doesn't usually happen with beginner friendly thrillers. Usually those are very cliche and not good, but this one was very surprisingly good. So I recommend this one. I really enjoyed it. So I just go to sleep now and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. But I had a lot of fun reading this one. So today's day eight of Carolyn. And yesterday we were able to finish our first book of this reading vlog called Losing Brave. And I loved it. Even though there were some things that I didn't full on understand. Maybe that was only me because I was very confused. I loved it. I think it touched me and I think it did its job. It got me spooked. So I really, really enjoyed that one. And today I want to read The Maze Runner by James Dashner. This covers the prompt of Tonema. After reading this, I have to watch the movie and that's not gonna be a problem because Dylan O'Brien. Need I say more? Dylan O'Brien, man. God, wow, wow. <laughs> so this follows these boys that are stuck in this maze. And it gives me Hunger Games vibes because they don't know why they're stuck in this maze. There's some really weird things happening. So I'm really excited to read this. My sister loves this series and I feel like if I do my best, I may be able to finish it today. So let's do this. I love that this story already started. I feel like usually with dystopians, it takes at least five chapters for the world building and then the action starts. But no, with this one, we start right away with Thomas' first day on the maze, on the glade as they call it. And I really like that. I'm starting to get more into dystopians, but what really bothers me is that it takes too long to get to the action. And I feel like I might love this because it already started how I like it. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm really excited. I feel like I'm gonna love this. I really like the story. It's so weird and creepy. Oh my God. That's why they're running inside of a maze for. <gasps> I swear to God. Bird just flew really close to my window and grabbed onto it. That scared me. 
Oh my god, I have goosebumps all over me. <gasps> what? Oh my god, I have goosebumps. It's so well written, like I am. Oh. <laughs> Um, another thing that I think it's so fun is for them not to curse in the book they created like some words that mean cussings like you're the shuckiest shuck faced shuck there ever was <laughs> and it's just so funny I think that's kind of a cute thing to do they could have cussed but they decided to do this and I don't know I feel like this is really original and different. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I just I thought that was cute. I wouldn't want to do something bad and be punished like that. That's you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Today's day nine of caroling. Look who's here with me. She's a little, are you thirsty? Show them how you look stunning. Show them your, look at those diamonds. Look at those. <laughs> Does this look stunning? Wait, I wanna show you this because she looks too pretty. Wait, like look at her. I feel like I'm gonna finish this today and I wanna watch the movie today too. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 this can't be good. No. What? What? Oh, no, 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 I'm speechless. This book was so good. It got me through all the emotions. I felt pain, I felt happiness, I felt joy, I felt anger. What? I definitely wanna continue on with this series. I didn't know if I would want to after finishing, but I want to. I was in the dark the whole time, but it's okay. Whoa, five stars. Five stars right away. I can't wait to watch the movie now and see if I'm gonna like it as much. I think people liked the movie version of this, different from Divergent. Like it was like a Hunger Games thing, like people actually liked the adaptation. Jesus Christ, look at them. <laughs> look at them. Oh my God. That movie was good. Five stars. So today's the last day of the readathon, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish a new book today. I had to post daily photo challenges and daily videos for this readathon, so that really 
kind of messed up my reading. I was able to finish four books in this readathon, but I think I'm gonna fail Carolene and not finish Dazing Chains. I don't think that's gonna happen. So I'm really sorry about that, but stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for more info on that book. I'll definitely read it a little bit later on. I just wanted to thank everyone who joined Caroline. I had so much fun looking at your vlogs, reading your comments, and just talking to you guys. Thank you to everyone who supported me and who gave me the strength to keep going with 10 daily videos in a row. Th those were a lot of hard work and just seeing your kind comments really made my day. So thank you so, so much. I love you all. And sorry that some of them went up a little bit late. Some of them I had to record, edit, and upload in the same day. So that kind of took a while. But thank you again. You guys are just so amazing. Um, make sure to check my bookish Instagram. I did post some spooky pictures there that I think you might enjoy. And let me know down below how your caroling went. I would really like to know. Thank you for joining. Thank you if you just gave me support. You guys are just so amazing. I this was a dream come true. I, I have no words. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to be part of this wonderful family. I would love to have you here. Thank you so so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.